Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. So what we're talking about today is uh, ways not to have flames go out, which means that our breath is not going far into the atmosphere, keeping it close to our bodies. Um, this is something that's been being talked about a whole lot. I thought of some of these ideas after watching what they're talking about coming out with the football helmets in the fall, and I'll put a picture of that up so you can see it. What that is, is it's a football helmet, and they've put the shield that would normally go around the eyes. Uh, they've dropped that, and it looks like it's going to come down the entire way to keep droplets and sweat and all that kind of stuff off of the players. That's a pretty good idea. I know most everybody in the South is looking forward to football again, and we're looking forward to the Friday night band lights. So, a couple of things real quick. Breathing exercises are so important, right? Developing the lungs, the diaphragm, the playing, the tone, the mouthpiece and breathing, uh, extra breathing tubes and all of this sort of thing have always been used. But now, if we do the whole thing of set your airway, well, we just expelled the candle, right? We're just punishing that air to come straight out and to move on. Also with buzzing, I'm about a foot away, a little more maybe, uh, and you can see that it's affecting the candle. This device is called uh, the burp, B-E-R-P, it's a resistance piece, but even if you set it for no resistance and you want to work on your buzzes, <laughs> there's no vapor being expelled distance-wise. You're keeping it right upon you. I don't know about the aerosol contents. I'm, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm talking about buzzing a mouthpiece, playing an instrument. Taking a horn, a brass instrument. It goes through, the sound goes through all of these tubes. Droplets are contained within the instrument. That's why there are these water keys. Okay? Same with reed instruments. There's some other things that we can do. The biggest offender that everybody is worried about is the flute. <laughs> Blowing can put that candle out. They're worried about the droplets being expelled. I came up with this shield. Probably can't see it because it's clear. But I, football, it made me think of a football, seeing that helmet and a shield, just like what we wear over to protect, right? What healthcare workers are shielding with. What if we were to do that on a flute and we were to make this come around this way? These are non-rubber O-rings that I'm using. But I also found these fancy small hair ties. So if we were to put this into position, what I feel, I don't feel anything coming back on me. I, I feel like I'm, if I were in a rock band, I would love this because I've got my own personal monitor. If we put it on the horn, notice that I'm rolling in and out uh, and nothing wavers. It's hitting the shield and basically driving down into my chest. Now if we take that off, You 
can see that the air is clearly moving more, but there's no difference in the tonality, whether it's closed, we have the shield in place, tonality still feels the same the projection feels the same so there you go that's some of the things that are kind of running through my mind as we're we're moving forward on this and everyone wanting to go back to playing in band to go back to schools how are we going to move forward that's just a big you know it's all an unknown right now but i'm trying to be part of the solution uh trying to think as outside the box and, and forward thinking as much as as possible like I said, I can't talk about all the aerosols and stuff like that. I don't believe that this negates using social distancing or cleaning or anything like that. We have to continue to do all of those things. Uh, that's This is just another part of how we can make this go. It's not to substitute for anything. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.